to the show after the show with the fantasy footballers. I feel like I'm supposed to ship you over here. <laughs> John Lovitz! <laughs> hey, did you hear? Did you hear that was fake? That was all for a music video. Wait, That's wait, what wait. I heard. Wait, the, the John Lovitz? The John Lovitz with that 30-year-old model. <sighs> That's what I heard. That was a troll. I saw that last night. It was like a long thing for a music video. Oh, that's all the tweets. All wow. the all the hey, uh, I've got a new man in my life. Wise wisdom from an old age and blah blah blah. So I'll, anyway. t- I'll tell you what, because this is going to go completely against what I'm about to talk about. That's well done. <laughs> okay, so welcome to the show. After the show, it's just uh, Mike and I today. Yes, Jason's eye has literally been gouged in a, f- a flag football incident. And you're probably wondering how uh, bad it is, and we have no idea. <laughs> nope, nope. Hopefully he, he's okay. He was here in the studio today. Um, he had one eye open. Let's put it that way. He's he's hurting, so he'll be back next week. We hope, and uh, well wishes to him. Sincerely, hopefully he's. Uh, I know he can't play football for a little while. Flag football. Yeah, so it's a bummer. Yeah, it's a shame. Um, so we're on the show after the show. We just got done with our second running back early ranking podcast. So check that out. Make sure you watch it, uh, subscribe here on YouTube and, and subscribe on iTunes. But today we're just, this is, I'm handing the reins. We'll move the camera over to, uh, Mike, the fantasy Where am I? I'm over here. Okay. America. Listen, he's talking. Uh, I want to set you up at least because okay. this is all you look f- for years. Mike, the fantasy hitman has had a problem with a certain day of the year. And yes. So today we're yes. going to debate the merits of this day, and it's mostly going to be Mike on a soapbox. So go take it away. America, here's the deal. Today is March 31st. That makes tomorrow April 1st. As some people recognize it, April Fool's Day. Here's here's the deal, America. Do you know what do you know what civilization is founded on? <laughs> do you know why we can live together? And we are not constantly looking over our shoulders saying, hey, is that guy going to try and take everything from me? Am I going to be killed tomorrow from every single person you're just looking out? What is that? That's trust. (laughs) Do you know why we can trust? Because And we decided let's all live together in this thing we call a civilization. A society. And a society. Thank you. And we've decided we're going to devote an entire day to try and destroy that trust. You're, you're not a fan of April Fool's Day. It's stupid. <laughs> Here's the thing. Like, let's say, because uh, you're... So give me an example of how stupid. It's generally a an ex- experience or an exchange with a trusted loved one or a very close friend. And you say, hey, friend. Or it, the, the best are the really lazy ones. When you call somebody up. And you say, dude, did you hear that Brian got in a car accident? And his <laughs> dude, he's not he's never gonna walk again. And then the person who's receiving this is like, holy crap, our friend Brian just got in a car wreck. And hey, they're, bro fools. And they're like, Oh, I tricked you. And you're like, What are you talking about? You tricked me. He's like, No, it's April Fools, I tricked you. And you're like, I can't believe you fell for that. And you're like, You're my friend. <laughs> When you give me information, I'm supposed to trust it. That's how this works as a as as a as a thing. That's why friendship Haven't works. Haven't you ever heard of the? You seen the purge? This is the day where you purge <laughs> trust. It's Look, just, don't you watch your back? It's ridiculous that that people feel like, hey, I got you. I can't believe that you believe me. Person who trusts me, and I should be able to trust information that you are giving me. And now you give me this lying thing. Oh man. I can't. You're so stupid. I can't believe you <laughs> fell for that. When I was a kid, of course I fell for it. My parents told me I was gonna have a little brother or sister on April Fool's Day, and they were lying to me, and I didn't get one. And who? And you, you still remember that? <laughs> it's true. I that do. is burned into your brain as the greatest trick ever. <laughs> I was so entertained. I just I don't understand why people are so happy and they pat themselves on the back. <laughs> When they get a great <laughs> friend to believe that something horrific has happened. Well, see, that's those are the ones that are the worst. I mean, where where do you draw the line? Is there an April Fool's joke that you find satisfactory, or are you just completely burnt out on the idea? Uh, I mean, I'm mostly burnt out, but like, what if I told like, you Jason's eye gouging was completely made up right now? That would be terrible. <laughs> 
<laughs> okay, because it's not. He's horribly injured. It, uh, but I will say something like that long con, if, if that's what it was with like the Lovitz thing. Right. That would be great. If you're, <laughs> that would be great. That's that's a good trolling where I don't. It just it sounds good to me. Um, the one where uh, Jimmy Kimmel, there was a, this video that went viral of the the girl recording herself dancing and then like she falls over and catches oh, on fire or something that's right. that's and it went right. massively viral it turned out it was fake that's fine but that's, that's none of those are going to your your grandmother or your friend and saying exactly uh, you know you're not going to a person hey i have you, cancer where you have established trust and you give them a bombshell of terrible information i think there's something from and your then past call them not telling a fool. us i think they're i think at a young age somebody april fools do you no, not that and I you were hurt. The, I have one the the one time uh I was and not even I wouldn't even consider this being April Fools. Um I I am an easily not scarable, but I startle easy. And so you know like if something jumps, it, I have a reaction very quick. Uh and so my wife one year uh she she was like, "Mike, there's a snake in the backyard." So I rose up <laughs> to go do my husbandly duty to at least look at the snake. Okay. I, did, I made no guarantees if I was right. going to get yes. rid of it or not. Right, right. Uh, but I go out, and she didn't even give me a chance to, like, go look at the yard. And she just shouts in my face, April Fool's. Uh. So I'm startled by the April Fool's. I'm not – I wasn't startled by a snake. <laughs> so I was like, uh, I'm not even going to count that. But it is it – is, why? What? Why? <laughs> all right. All right. Why? You've got it off your chest. Thank you. <laughs> and and everyone on YouTube, let us know what you think of April also, Fool's. Also, uh, cancel April Fool's Day because it's stupid. All right. There you go. <laughs> See ya. Woo! April Fool's. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>